Lost Japan by Alex Kerr then is a really interesting kind of piece of travel writing about Japan. Alex Kerr is a guy that throughout his life, whether from living with his family or choosing to live there himself, has spent a lot of time living in Japan. He's a really interesting guy and he really covers a lot of good information about Japan as a country, both rural and urban Japan, and how that's changed over time. The book was originally written in the 90s and hasn't been updated since, so it's even interesting to compare the 90s, as it's described in here, with Japan now and what we know, and even over that time there's been so many changes it's absolutely fascinating. The book goes into really good info about things like calligraphy and feng shui and Japanese ways of living and kabuki theatre and tea ceremony and all these amazing, really unique parts of Japanese culture. But it's not the most interesting book in how it's written. I never felt like I needed to rush back and pick the book up again. I didn't really miss it if I didn't read it for a while. And it's definitely the subject matter that really stands out rather than the writing. Despite that, if you like Japan, I'm dying to go myself. But if you always enjoyed it as a country, it's worth a read, it's fascinating. I gave it a 6.5 out of 10.